Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we will talk about procedural texturing. Maybe you watched my first video where we did this beautiful star animation loop. If you didn't do so, check it out or if you're not interested, that's fine too. You can just start from here. All right, so let's get started. So I'm working with Blender 2.92 and this was our setup so far. The only thing you have to change if you want to continue is um, that you have to click on the big cube and reduce the volume density. So here I'm in the material properties, go to volume density and reduce it to 0 0.01. Now it should work. And that's pretty much all we have to prepare. And now we can go to the shading tab over here and just click on world. So we want the procedural texture to be in the world. My world now is empty, which is okay. Um, because we will use a lot of nodes, it's really important that you have the node wrangler add-on activated. If you don't have it, click on preferences, add-ons, and just type in node wrangler over here. It's already in every Blender package um, included. Just, just click on it and then it should already work. And great, now we can work, uh, now we can start working with the world setup. And first of all, Press Shift A, search for Musgrave texture, this one, perfect. And then Shift A, you can also go on texture. And now we need a wave texture, where it is? There is it. Great, just take the height and go into the vector. And now we need a color ramp, which is under converter, color ramp. Put the color into the factor output and if you click control shift and left click on the color ramp you can see nothing because we are not in render mode so now you can see the background which is quite uh, <laughs> yeah quite crazy that's not what we want but it looks funny anyways um, just play around a little bit here with the settings all the time. Right now I will go for some purple color and because we want to make a sky I will go with some yeah just some dark color here. This is this is already okay and now we have to now we have to change some settings because as you can see this is all very um, yeah very very detailed or, or or close. We want the scale just to be a little bit, little bit different. So five is actually okay for this. The detail must be much higher. So maybe like fifteen, so it gets a little bit more interesting. And the dimension can be a little bit lower. Yeah, well, that's maybe even a little bit too much. Maybe one point three. Mm -hmm, yeah, that looks good. And um, I always like understand the dimensions a little bit like detail within the detail. Um, yeah, if that makes sense. Now let's go to the wave texture. And now we make this much smaller because we don't want that you can really see the waves. Yeah, this is already very good. I like that somewhere in this area is fine. You don't have to change anything else. Okay, so now we want to add some more color into it. So we need again the Musgrave, Shift D, just duplicate it. Then we can work with the magic texture. Just Shift A, go to magic texture, the height into the vector output again. We need another color ramp. And here again, the color into the vector. And maybe we can now add some blue and some more um, some more black, yeah, maybe like this, maybe like this. Um, now I press again Control Shift and left click so I can just preview it, so I get a little Im imagination and you can clearly see this is way too detailed, so we have to tweak the settings again. We can make the scale maybe on 2.5, maybe even smaller, let's try 2, all right. The detail on seven doesn't really affect. Yeah, well, it's not so important. Just 
take care it's not too straight like six or seven is fine and then you can decrease the dimension a little bit not so much well not so much maybe like one yeah okay and as you can see i'm just trying around so go for whatever you think looks best okay i will make it so small that it doesn't really matter what i did in the first step now you can just see this interesting patterns and i'm still just previewing the color ramp down here now we want to mix both if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled just hit Control shift and right click and you can take both color ramps and put them on top of each other and i actually i like the mix you can play around with this but i like it it's really foggy and mystical you don't know what's going on and that's exactly what we want now we want to add some more black to the overall image um, for this. First insert a, um, um, a mix shader. Okay. And yeah, this is not looking nice. Just click on the mix shader, shift, control, left click. Now it's all right again. And shift A. And now we need um, a background shader, which is kind of the basic shader if you're working in the world with the world settings. And just go fully black the background into shader 2 the thing is now it's mixing so we don't actually want the black to be everywhere just in circum uh, at certain places so that's why we need a mask and this is quite easy we can just pretty much um, yeah just go for a noise noise texture for example and put a wave texture after it it's always good to use two textures, two procedural textures behind each other, because then it's not so easy to see the patterns. Okay, just go with the with the vector into the vector, and um, yeah, we need a new color ramp. You can just duplicate this one. Go with the color into the vector, or with the vector into the vector. It doesn't really matter here. Um, first of all, we have to reset this color ramp. Just click here say reset color ramp again sh um, shift control left click so we get some idea and now you can see um, one of those shaders will get all the black in all the black places and the other shader will get all the white places so you can see this is again much too detailed so we have to reduce the scale of both yeah we're getting there put some distortion maybe then it gets a little bit more interesting yeah this is really really good um like i said i'm just trying it around maybe a little bit more black remember this is only where those two shaders will um yeah will will will, will be <laughs> word is missing i'm sorry for that okay now go to the mix shader control shift left click and now you can see this is getting more interesting but we want more black and nothing is happening because i forgot to put the color into the factor so now it's easier for my head if we just change the two shaders then the black in the color ramp refers to the black background here it's just easier for my head um, <laughs> maybe even a little bit more a little bit darker the edge is a little bit stronger but that looks that looks okay to me and <clears throat> now we want to do two things first of all we want to have another mix shader and this time we really want to have the overall image to be a little bit more dark it's still it's it's still very bright for like a for for like a, a nebula background so what we can do is um, add a noise texture again. I will just copy this one. And um, yeah, let's let's see five. And add another color ramp between the noise texture. Okay. Usually it's better if you don't need the color of the noise texture itself, only the black and white values and go with the factory uh, output. And okay, so now we want it to be very black, not everywhere, 
not everywhere but almost everywhere and maybe a little bit of purple let's see how it looks yeah but the purple can be much darker too maybe like this maybe like this and now you can see when I put it in in the mixed shader that you can just add a little bit of darkness to the picture which I think is good and um, now there's a little trick so we can add with the same noise um, noise texture if we just take another color and we can just add some more interesting color and I think there could be some more blue in it so let's go with some bluish color the black is okay but not that much and the blue can be a little bit lighter again mm -hmm. and this is the last mix shader we do Now the good thing is that the blue is almost everywhere where the dark values are. Um, so this is actually very nice because you have like this overlay effect. Now it's much strong. Obviously we want to have it very slow. But then you really get this foggy effect. Yep. Okay, so maybe we can change the noise texture a little bit right now. Make it a little bit smaller. That's okay. All right, here we go. So if you're not satisfied with the result, just tweak with some settings. Yeah, I think maybe I would just invert this. Flip the color ramp. Yeah, yeah, now it's good because now the blue is within the black parts. Yeah, that was still missing. Now it looks perfect to me. And um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So what we actually did is just mix mix shader with each other. That's pretty much the story or the background. What really nice, it's really nice that you can pretty much look everywhere and you have um, patterns which doesn't really repeat. And if you now render the animation with the starry sky, this looks really nice to me and um, yeah I think it's not that difficult the other interesting thing we did is the masking um, we use some procedural textures to use a mask so we can decide where we want to have which color and mix them this way and that's how you get this interesting um, not repeating pattern all right, so thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments and I hope to see you in the next video. See you, bye.